another good skill set on communication. Now, we'll call it the change and gauge formula. What I'm talking about is when we're communicating with people and make plans for something or make plans to do something, sometimes those plans need to change. Now, when you change and gauge, what that means is I'm, we agreed to something, which was whatever I agreed to this person, I'm going to call you at 8 o'clock. And now I've had this change. So now I have to readdress, and what I need to seek to, is get a new agreement, right? I need to change my agreement. So I need to change and engage. Now, if you cannot make the 8 o'clock call, instead of calling and saying, I can't make the call, sorry, have a nice day, try the change engage formula where I try to seek new agreement. Can't make the call at 8 o'clock. I can make it at 8.30. Is that good for you? And then that person has the chance to change engage, and you have a new agreement. So you just didn't bail on the situation. You just didn't change it. You engage them on an alternate. You engage them on a solution. And when we come in with solutions to changes we need to make, it's just a better way to communicate. We cross-pollinate those things and try to reseek a new agreement. Try it sometime. If you have to change your plans for something, offer an alternate way at the same sentence or at the end of the same sentence of when you offered the change and try to reset the agreement. Watch, it'll work.